So, um, yeah, it's absolutely shocking what goes on over there. So, you know, again, I mean, I think all of it comes down to a united humanity. That's what we need. We absolutely need to unite as a people. I see all these things as opportunities. I see Bill H.R. 347 as a huge opportunity, one of the best opportunities America has ever had to see the system laid bare. Couple that with the National Defense Resources Preparedness Act, and, and there it is. It shows how corrupt your government is. So the question is, what are you going to do about it? Because it says in your constitution that when this happens, you're supposed to do something about it. And you can do something about it peacefully if you put down your barriers and, and, and get back into a state of empathy and connect with the people around you. So we've been taught to, to step away from empathy. Empathy is way down on the bottom of the list, way down on the bottom of the food chain as far as our thinking goes. Our thinking is all about acquisition. It's all about social status. It's not about empathy. You know, and empathy is the interface. Empathy is the key to the whole thing. If, if we approached everybody from a state of empathy, there wouldn't be any problem. You know, we, we would have this united community that the, the world would not be in the state that it's in. You know, empathy is the key to the whole thing. See, people have forgotten to speak with their heart. That, that's what they're, they're missing. They're, they're not speaking with their heart anymore. I mean, I've done whole films about this, Chris, The Awakening, you know. Um, people have for, forgotten that language. And that's what we need to get back to. And we can do this globally. Put down all the, the barriers about race and creed and sexuality and whatever you find is a problem with other people, put it away. Every person's valid. Every person has a valid perspective of reality. So, so see them as valid because that's something that's been taken away from people. We've all lost our validity. We've been squashed down by this system. And most people want, want to be validated. They want, to, they want their voice to be heard. They want to be seen as somebody who's worth having in the world. You know, I want, to, I want someone to know that I exist and to appreciate that I exist. And all I want to do is to be able to appreciate other people. That's, that's the way most people feel inside. And that's what's been taken away from them. So we need to get that back and realize that it's across the board. It doesn't matter what anybody looks like or what their, their, their orientation is or what country they come from or what their social standing is. You know, ultimately, we're all just mankind, and that's what we need to get back because that is what this system has taken away from us. It's enslaved us to, to debt. It's enslaved us to legislation, which has simply been designed to remove law from the planet and replace it with the, the will of politicians. It's enslaved us to a system that is not us. We're not able to be us anymore. Humanity has lost the ability to be mankind, you know, because of this system. So we, we need to get that back, you know, and that's how we solve everything, every single problem we face. If we can just get that back, you know, we can change reality by simply changing our perspective of it. And that's what I've been trying to tell people for, for such a long time now. It's funny that you say that. Terrence McKenna um, had a clip that I heard that where he said that um, – Humanity has gone so insane that they're looking for the last bit of sanity that they had, and that last bit was when we were eating mushrooms in Africa and running around in the forests. And that's why you've got the whole rave culture and all these cultures that are taking mass amounts of psychedelic drugs because they're trying to get back to that sanity. Well, you know, we've lost our connection with most of reality, Chris. You know, we're locked down into this five sense reality. There's so much going on outside the five sense reality, and we know it's there, but we can't access it. So you know, our whole consciousness has been squashed. We're, we're not sane at all. This whole culture is insane. The whole right. culture is psychopathic. All of it. I mean, the, the whole system that, that we use to, uh, or that we allow to run our lives, that we use to function and allow to run our lives, this whole system is psychopathic. And the most expendable thing within the system uh, are the people. So what the hell is the system doing there? You know, all the people within the system, they come and they, they brutalize you, they arrest you, they put you in jail, they say, gee, I feel bad about doing this, but I have to do it, I have no choice, because it says so on this piece of paper. Right. You know, and, and they, they're forced to be psychopathic. So it's like a pathogen that infects them. They believe the system is real. That, that, that's like pathological thinking. It's not real. It's just an idea that someone wrote down on a piece of paper and used it to control everybody else because they taught everybody else that it was real. But it's not. It's just a meme. It's just an idea. It doesn't exist at all. What exists is humanity. And in order to support this system, we're destroying the planet that we live on. We're destroying each other. And we're just chucking humanity out, out the side like waste, like garbage, just to support this system and make this system more efficient. So where humanity is evolving to is a new species, which is like this, this, this system. 
That's, that's where they're trying to take it. That's where human consciousness is taking itself because we're devoid of empathy because of this system. We've got to get that empathy back in our relationships with people. Once we can do that, because empathy is the interface. Empathy is the interface with the divine, the language of the heart. You can speak the language of the heart if you have empathy to reality, empathy to the people around you, empathy to creation. You know, it, it all comes from there. That, that's that inner knowing, that knowledge that you have inside, you know, that, that real knowledge, you know, and, and not knowledge that you've, you've learned from a book somewhere, but, but knowledge, knowing, connection, you know, the, the, the string between you and source. You know, that's that knowing that's inside you. We all have that in there, and we've forgotten how to speak that language. We need to get that back. Very well said, Max. We really appreciate your time. Anything you want to leave the audience with besides that? I mean, that, that was pretty profound right there. Love each other. Even love those yes. that you, you hate. Don't, hate. don't hate anybody. Don't hate people. Even the bad guys, don't hate them because it just it just – creates that energy in the field just just love these people love each other live your life in empathy and you can change the world very well said max and we love you definitely and everybody out there too and i know that our show wouldn't be the same without your constant contributions and we really really appreciate your wisdom max well it's nice to come on and talk to you chris and nice to talk to you too sheree absolutely you, all right take care have a great rest of the day okay bye-bye thanks and ladies and gentlemen, once again, Max Egan, thecrowhouse.com, and um, amazing, amazing gentleman. And uh, once again, thank you for waiting for us, Max. It's been a rough day, but the show must go on. I think that's what's important because so many people tune in, so many people write emails and say, you know what, I heard exactly what I needed to hear on your last show. And that's what we hope to do in this world, just change, change everybody just a little bit and help them grow. And through that, we can change the world. Good night, everyone.